Okay, so this is how to clean the chinchilla cages. Um, work smarter, not harder. So if you go and you brush all the poop off of these, it's gonna fall out of the cages and be all over the floor, and then it makes a bigger mess for you to clean. Um, so that's why we have a shop vac. So we have a little shop vac that belongs in here, and you can plug this in over here. If you need an extension cord, um, come see me. I have them. We're not allowed to have them out, so you'll have to come get one from me. So I have them in my office. So um, you usually don't need an extension cord because everything on here is in, everything in this lab is on wheels. So you can actually roll them towards you. Um, so just roll them towards you, and then just be careful you don't suck up the chinchilla because you can actually do a lot of damage. They have very, very, very thin skin and they will, like, you'll, they'll lose huge patches of hair if you catch them with it. So just be very careful. Um, do not suck up large chunks of hay. It'll clog the vacuum. Like this is fine, this little chaff. But if you guys look down here in the bottom of this, there's all these big pieces of hay. You can't suck that up with this. That's gonna have to be, um, that's gonna have to be uh, like actually picked up with your hand or taken out uh, manually. But um, so what you can do is just one level at a time. Um, I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna suck this up. Try not to waste all this food that's up here. Um, they make a big mess. So try to, the food, I would just push back into the dish with my hand. So that way I'm not making so much waste. And then that can go back onto this. this is, there we go. So then all they're gonna do is hit this button. Looks like a dream, sucks everything up. You can pull this off if you need to to get up and move up the level. bring a trash can in here which makes life easier and I would recommend using one of the big ones not one of the smaller ones it just makes life easier and then you just roll this paper off everything goes in there and then we just want to rinse this off um, it does get gross, so. I'm gonna come and get a scrub brush really quick and some soap. A little bit of just soap goes a long way. areas that are going to be like going to have some like calcium in it because they have calcium in their pee. Um, you're not going to get all that off but just try to get a decent scrub on this.
And then I'm going to just put a quick towel dry on this. Easy, nice and squeezy and then we're gonna go in the boys locker room I want to make sure there's nobody in there anybody in here so if not um, I can go ahead and the sacks of paper here are what we're gonna to use to line the cage pan so I'm gonna grab one of these and I want to get it to about right size and then I'm going to cut this and there's scissors in the scissor drawer over there. I'm just going to tear this because I made a line and it doesn't have to be perfect so if you want to tear it you can. I just leave that little extra piece in here. They can chew on this. It's not going to hurt them. and clean. Obviously I still need to finish vacuuming the other levels in here. Um, and then on deep cleaning day, I want to take a wet rag with just a little bit of dish soap on it. Like I'm just using this paper towel for example, but, um, and I just want to take a nice wet rag and just, just a quick wipe down of the levels, especially in this cage with these, with the doubles. Um, they, make they're much much messier and for whatever reason they like to pee on their levels so you'll see up here it gets really dirty in this corner um so sometimes i'll actually take this cage outside and hose it down um if you're going to take the cage outside and hose it down obviously you need to catch the chinchillas and put them in their crates um to be doing anything like that but otherwise they can just stay in the cage while you clean because they'll stay out of your way um so once I vacuumed all of the levels, I'm going to grab a broom and a dustpan. I'm going to sweep the floor because you guys look at the floor. There's little chinchilla pellets everywhere. So I'll sweep the floor and then make sure their water bottles are full. Make sure they have hay, food, treats if I want to give them some treats. Um, make sure their dust baths are full. Um, I think we change dust on either Mondays or Tuesdays to change the dust. So make sure they have the dust baths, have dust in them, and they're not really gross. And then other than that, Pretty easy to take care of. 